Welcome to this video in the Enero series on LED lighting where I'll be looking at my personal favourite from the Enero range, the Solaris. As you can see it's a large unit, it weighs a hefty 8 kilos, although to be fair that's not much more than a standard 1 kilowatt tungsten Fresnel. Whilst it's not something you would consider for run and gun lighting, when it comes to studio work or location drama this is one of the best Fresnel LEDs on the market. So let's have a quick glance around the unit before having a closer look at its operation. Shape wise this is a typical 1 kilowatt Fresnel but it only draws 150 watts of power and uses less than 1 amp in continuous use. At the front it has removable barn doors. Note that the LED Solaris will accept all the accessories from the 1 kilowatt tungsten range such as gel holders and soft boxes. The lens is a Fresnel with 150mm diameter which is a good size and when it's combined with a parabolic reflector it makes a very efficient unit. There's a flood and spot adjustment from a wide 50 degrees down to a 20 degree spot. Adjustment is with this yellow knob. Moving around Let's have a look at the back panel. Let's start down here at the bottom left and switch it on with the on-off switch. When this happens the LED panel above it springs into life. It does a self-check and when it's completed it shows quite a bit of useful information such as the DMX channel selected, that the fan's working and then the type of control or the driver selected, in this case manual. Finally, it shows the luminosity selected, which will be between 0 and 100%. Be aware though that, like all LED units, it has difficulties at low power levels, and it cuts in first at about 13%. Underneath, we have two red indicators. The one on the right is only of interest if you are controlling the Solaris with DMX, and it will be steadily illuminated when no DMX signal is present. When it's receiving a signal, it blinks. The red light on the left shows that there is a current supply and should be on all the time. Now we come to setting the DMX address. If you look here, you'll see a clear plate, underneath which are the DMX dip switches. Take off the plate and set the switches carefully using a very fine screwdriver or pointed tool. For more details and instructions on how to set the dipper switches, I suggest you look very carefully at page 9 of the instruction manual, which can be downloaded from www.yanero.com. Next, we have a selector to decide how the unit will be controlled. DMX, manual or with no driver at all. With no drive selected, the unit will not emit any light even if it receives a DMX signal or you adjust the onboard dimmer. Next we have the potentiometer or onboard dimmer which controls the unit when it's in manual mode and underneath we have the 5 pin DMX input and output. And finally we have the safety fuse. If this blows then it almost certainly means that something is wrong and the unit needs to be checked out by a qualified electrician. Although the LEDs should last for tens of thousands of hours, they can be replaced. In fact, on Yanero units, LEDs and electronics can be exchanged if and when they wear out. This means that if a single driver goes, it can be replaced. You don't have to change out the whole motherboard. So that was a brief look at the Solaris from the Yanero LED range. For further information, go to the website www.yanero.com